Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So right here in front of me is the infamous University Park Thunderbolt 1003A. And it is a 4-5 port ratio on the original chopper. So the only one like it in the world. Whereas some other 1003s, I think one other that I know of has gotten a 4.5 conversion, but it's not original like this one. But yeah, I just came back to uh, record this for the tornado siren test today, which is at 10 o'clock. And yep, still pulling strong, still in service. These old three-phase motors never die. But anyway, yeah, there's the blower. Um, as you can see, four wires, so that confirms it is three phase. Whereas if it were three wires, it would be single phase because one's positive, the other's negative, and then ground. Got some gloves on the ground, you know, from the stupid virus pandemic going on. Just gonna give you a better shot of the siren. Hope they don't growl it on me because I don't have hearing protection on right now. It's back in the car. But, uh, yep. There's the siren. Um, there's a light on it too. And I came out here also because there was a rumor that this no longer has the RCM3 panel, which is what allows it to do the fire signal. This only, uh, I've only heard this do alert. I've heard it does attack for tornado warnings, which is good because that way using a different signal means people know the difference between a test and a tornado warning. Um, I mean, given that, it is a, given that it is a 1003, it was at some point also a fire siren. Now it's a tornado siren only. There's some boxes here. I don't think that they have anything to do with the siren, though. Might go in and talk to them after the test and see, you know, do they still have the RCM3 panel? Is it true that they only... Uh, let dispatch control the siren because that's what I've heard, you know From what I've heard from other people they've gone in and asked, you know Why doesn't it do high low or can you do high low? When the answer was uh, They don't control the siren dispatch does So there you go